In this video, we are going to see how we can create a deployable file. This thing involves mainly two steps. The first one is to create a deployment profile and second one is deploy the deployable file into a standard J2EE container and the container should be provided ADF runtime from JDeveloper. Let's now see how we can do this. This is the workspace and the project we are working on. So we have to create a deployable file. For that I will create a deployment profile first. So on the tutor demo project I will right click and say new. And here I will see that in general I have a deployment profile but as you can see it is not enabled so I have to go to the view controller and then right click and then say new and here it is deployment profile in general under general category so I will say war file and I will click on OK so let's name it as tutor and it will be created in this directory under my work folder then tutor demo and under view controller let's say ok I will say tutor dot profile this is my deployment profile so I have to provide all the parameters so I don't want to create a EAR file out of this so I will delete this enterprise application name is tutor and I will use this as a context as tutor I will click here and I will say tutor so here I have an option to include the classes and uh, whatever files I want to include in the war file that will be mentioned here and this will be under way by NF classes if there are any libraries we want so we can provide these libraries from here if some things are there that I don't want to provide I can just uncheck it and then dependencies are this and I can provide a platform on which I want to deploy this particular file so as of now I will just leave this as it is and I will say OK and I will click on save and the view controller I am having one more folder here named resources I will just expand it and I have this tutor.profile.deploy this is my deployment profile I will just right click here and I will say deploy to war file here in the log I can see that deployment has started and deployment finish the war file is written here in this my work folder 
so let's go to this folder this is the folder in view controller deploy I have this tutor.profile.var I will just rename it as tutor.var so this is my var file I can copy it and deploy it to the NEJ2EE standard container which is having a runtime ADF runtime installed so this is how we create a deployable file thank you